Hey guys, welcome back. This is the last part of adding deformation to the head. So we have here the head that still needs a global deformation uh, applied to it as an envelope, as well as the ears. So the ears are gonna be quite uh, tricky as we can see inside of our design here if I reactivate it. I have a pretty standard transition over here, but then we start uh, seeing some new things happening here. We have uh, a little part of the ear that starts to appear and this part starts getting thinner. We can actually see the interior of the ear and over here we just swap over to this part here taking up the entire room and covering up all the rest of the ear. Um, so quite a tricky thing to achieve really. Um, it does take a little bit of, uh, of time to kind of figure out how we will be doing this. Right now what I have for the ear is the tip separated into its own layer. We have this part here that is also on its own layer. We have the little piece of hair, the interior, and we do have this other piece here. Um, if I just bring that to the side a little bit, uh, that will be the part coming over on top, but it's still not quite right for what we need. Um, so we may have to adjust and create additional little systems for these. Right now we'll just be putting the deformation on these different pieces um, and later on we'll be able to check just how we are going to arrange this for this to work. So um, let's start with the ear. We can finish with the head. Uh, I'll set a display underneath the entire ear just to kind of see everything that we have over here. Um, the ear tip is going to be pretty simple. Uh, it's not going to move that much to be honest. Uh, so even just a squash uh, and a skew could do the job. We can also of course uh, create a slight curve in the center here. Usually I keep the bottom one um, a little bit closer to the base of the drawing and just create a new one even if it doesn't uh, follow exactly the tip. The idea is that it's going to move well enough that I can create little subtle movements. So that seems good by me. We can go ahead into the outside ear. If I want I can isolate it and I'm going to create an envelope around this one. So starting at the edge here and creating a very simple three point envelope. I'm gonna break that handle, bring it back and close up this shape. Now, one thing that's important to know with uh, deformation is that it is going to stretch on the outside a lot better then it will collapse on the inside. As you can see, if I go too far in, it will start breaking, pieces will start showing uh, over the different parts that we have here. So even if I try to adapt at a certain point, it will just break. Um, so right now with this piece, it's not too bad. With the systems that we create later on for the ear, um, we'll have to thin out this part um, but at the current time, uh, we can just leave it as it is. If we need to adapt, we can do so later on. Uh, adapting is all part of creating a 360. Something will work for one view, then we'll realize a little bit later on that it may not necessarily uh, be the case for every other view, but ideally you want to try to plan ahead these things as much as possible. Right now we can still deal with um, this kind of setup pretty well. So going over to the little piece of hair that we have here, I don't necessarily want to have a deformation on this one. It is going to move pretty well just with a little skew um, and it is inside of the ear so we'll really have a little more uh, motion, a, a, a nicer silhouette with the motion on the piece of hair at the tip of the ear. So let's go over to our next part. 
we have the interior of the ear. So for this one, we can create an envelope as well. We'll have a three piece. We'll have a three point envelope, just like so, to have a nice flexibility with the handles. And lastly, we have this part here, the outer ear that will appear over on this side. So I can go and find this inside of my timeline, activate it, and create another envelope for this one. It doesn't really matter where you put the root of your deformation. Um, the only difference will be that these uh, two handles will be distinct even if I uh, overlap. Well, if I do so with this one, once I go past a certain point, they will become parallel and kind of joined, uh, but you can always break that link using Alt, so that way you can move it around any way that you want. Okay, so um, let's deactivate the solo mode on this one here. Let's remove our display. And we have the full ear deformation over here. As I mentioned before, uh, we will be adjusting certain things to the system to make sure that it works properly. Um, but at the current time, uh, this is uh, just fine. I can activate some of these, I can move them around, I can reveal uh, some parts of the ear. Um, we'll see a little bit more later on how to, uh, to really collapse some of those pieces without breaking too many things. Um, so going over to the last part for the head, you guys will be able to do the same thing for the other ear, so pretty much match that. Um, on the other one, the only piece left that we're going to touch on now is going to be this one right here. So I'm going to find the head, open it up, click on solo mode, and same as with the other one before, um, if I want I can actually show the jaw as well, so you can have multiple things showing, just to kind of know exactly where I want to put these points. Um, so it's going to be about over here uh, would probably be ideal if I want to um, adjust the position of this one. So I'm going to start with the little corner here, create my point about where the junction is going to be. I'm going to put one on top because it makes it easier to squash the head a little bit if need be. And simply do the same thing in the other direction. I'm going to close that off. I don't really need to have one in the center here. This is covered up by the jaw. We can activate that one again just to see if we positioned our points properly. We can always adjust a little bit more. Make sure that these are a little more precise and I think we're about good with that. So that sums up uh, bringing all the deformation into the head here. So we have all of these different pieces. Of course, you can do as well the other ear over on this side. As for the mouth, uh, we'll take care of that later. And same thing for the eyelids. So I'll see you guys in the next videos.